Hello YouTube. Welcome to my first set booster unboxing. I'm not sponsored by Doc Pepper by the way, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this started with a, yeah. So, um, well, so this is the Phyrexia set booster box and we're going to unbox it today. You know, I should have brought my knife, but I'm gonna do this off screen real quick. So this is my first set booster to unbox. So let's get started and see what we pull. Meet Elish Norn. Pretty cool art styles for all this. So we're gonna open individual packs and go with a pile of just the best over here. Um, everything else, yeah, I'm going to just sideboard it. Um, just stack all these real quick, see if it falls over, and let's begin. First pack up of Phyrexia set boosters. Got a Phyrexian germ. Tamiyo's logbook. Okay, not bad, not bad. Ooh, first mythic right here. It's a foil. Um, we got a mythic. Got Capricious Hellraiser. Nice, nice. <coughs> And we have a rare Jorkadeen first gold warden. Not bad for first pack. Got a mythic and a rare. Ooh, two rares. So rare. It's a rare, I think. And then just normal cards from here. Nice. Nice little foil land. Done my foil pile and nice little art. Not bad, not bad. For first, first uh, opening, not bad, not bad at all. Now, this pack's pretty, golly, this plastic is pretty crap. Let's just be honest about that. But these packs, are my favorite version. So we got a drone token, a cephalopod sentry, and then a venerated rot priest. Not bad. Dumbing bird. Eh. Yep. So. <laughs> So far, getting double rares and another land. Pretty cool art style on all of it. Oops, sorry, that was probably upside down. I think this is the right. Yeah. <clears throat> so each set booster. Uh, let's see here. Was it 30 packs? Yeah, we got. 30 packs to go through. Nice little video on it. All right, we got the Phyrexian Might token, and then Hazardous Blast Foil, Rhea Ivor Bane, okay. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty decent. Set Booster is apparently the best bang for your buck. I had to go through and look through everything. 
Let's see what uh, is the best to go with. And they recommend that getting a set booster is the best bang for your buck if you want just cards to be able to play with. Now, if you want just all just really cool foils and like rares that are foil and uh, probably a chance, a little bit better chance of mythics, you would go with uh, a collector box. And then if you just want something to that you would just draft with, that's the draft booster box. Um, this is a nice little bone picker foil. Ooh, Ron Executioner Thane, nice. <coughs> yep, these are pretty solid cards I will be using. I already use them on the arena. I, my two favorites are, so far, uh, we have Lord of the Rings as a favorite, and then, uh, Phyrexia is my second favorite, and then I would have to say Wilds of Eldrian is the third favorite of the time. Uh, currently, we are in standard for all three, uh, and all three pretty much work well together in, in drafting cards. I wouldn't know too much. I'm pretty new to Magic, but I would say that getting... Phyrexians and uh, Lord of the Rings together is a great combo. That's just my opinion. Once again, uh, Duck Pepper, if you want to sponsor, um, hit me up. Uh, I would love to sponsor, be sponsored by my favorite drink, Duck Pepper. We got a Rust Vine Cultivator. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. And then we have the Filgree Silex. Little legendary artifact. Okay. Let's see if we got anything else cool in here. Usually after the first two. Okay, so this card I like. I'm just going to say that it does well at a just troll deck kind of. <clears throat> have ooh, the art style nice nice all righty i would say the lord of the rings is a little bit better on their set boosters i believe because uh ooh, infectious bite uh lord of the rings you have more cards in each pack to my knowledge there's 15 on each pack for Lord of the Rings compared to 12 in each one of these. Ooh, nice. These are all just fun cards I used to play with on the drafts for Phyrexia. Okay, a little stamp signature. It's a stamp, remember that? It's not an actual signature until they actually do signatures these cards are not that valuable they need to start doing less of uh, the art cards with signatures to make them more valuable nice little hollow serum core chimera argentum argentum masticor Ooh, and a double rare here, Mirage Mockery. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got. Canker Bloom. Hey, Colin, uh, if you want a Canker Bloom, I am up for trades. Nice little hollow land or fo foil land. And I mean, art alone, this pack is probably the best for now. The new Lord of the Rings sets might be beating that, but for now, I think I would give the art to Phyrexia. So, <clears throat> I mean, it's a hard choice. It's a hard choice. 
Uh, frame a little bit. All right. It's really a hard choice to decide, but you know, it's, it's all on the luck of the draw, I guess. Um, let's see here. We got opportunity. Target player draws four cards. <laughs> it's very expensive to do, but might be worth it. Might be worth it. Uh, you can go with cool cards for now. All right, we got Phyrexian Construct, the Incisor Glider, not bad. Graz, nice. Still looking for a Elish Norn or Shieldred. Would be really cool to draft those from here. Ooh, we got that Tyrannix Atrocity. That's gonna go to my friend Colin if he wants to trade. Nice little land art, and then another one of these. Phyrexian arts. <clears throat> All right, let's get some packs in here. Phyrexian beast token. Vanished into Eternity, Hot Little Foil. Nahiri, the Unforgiving, nice. Nice, a little Planeswalker Mythic, I love it. Uh, Planeswalker will put you into a different pile. You get a special pile because I don't have many Planeswalkers. It'll be easier for me to go back and grab those. Not bad, not bad. Planes and then nice little more art of the Phyrexians. Alrighty, let's do a double. This was not planned out at all to do double packs at the same time. Oh my gosh. Okay, recommendation, don't do double packs. <laughs> At least don't rip open double packs. That was almost probably dangerous. Alrighty. Alright. Rebel. Okay. Blade Graph Aspirant. Not bad. Little foil. Mercurial Spell Dancer. Okay. 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 Not bad. Ooh. ooh skull Bomb. Nice little Swampland. And the art style. We got Detonate. And Bone Picker Scourge. Okay, Razor Verge Thicket. Okay, okay. Let's put them there. Uh, and then just normals from here. Shieldred's Edict. That's gonna, anything Shieldred, I'm probably gonna keep out for later. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these cards at this point. I might post my uh, business email on my YouTube, and then we can have some inquiries about cards people might want from this pack. Well, nothingness. Ecor Synthesizer. Nice. Conduit of Worlds. It's a cool card. It's not the best. Like, okay, so you can get stuff from your graveyard onto the Yeah, so like if you get a card from, you can get a card from your graveyard and put it onto the battlefield, but that's the only thing you can cast the entire turn. It's kind of, it's it's more of a meh. I think uh, Shieldred is way better. Um, 
the Edict of Shieldred, um, where, or I don't remember what her thing is. There's like a card where she transforms into a, a, um, a saga, and then you're able to basically take all the cards from all graveyards and put it onto play. That one's a better version of Conduit of Worlds by far. But it's Mythic Rare, so you know. You get what you get, I guess. Okay. So many packs. What am I gonna do with all these cards? Might. Okay, we got Route, so not bad, not bad. Adaptive Sponge Spore Singer. A little Foil Glissa Sun Slayer. Looky there. That one's a great card. Decent Bat Emergence. Nice little plane again. Nice artwork. Let's do three packs now. Open them off, in, off screen. Got a hollow, or sorry, a foil already. I believe it's foil. If I'm wrong, someone message and correct me. But until then, we're gonna keep probably screwing it up. Haven't been into card games in about 10, 15 years. It's been that long since I've done like card stuff. All right, another Phyrexian Might. Ubrask Anointer. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, a Myrix Land Sphere. Okay. Malira the Living Cure. Nice little legendary creature. I mean, look at these arts. The art alone has sold me on Phyrexia's stuff. Mountain art. Alright, we got Samurai. Drop Skull Ball. Monument to Perfection. And OK Cards. Ooh, another cool land over here. Oh, love it. Love the land. Um, we got a Traxxas or something. I don't remember the name of that card. All right, so just the rules. Brawn, Executioner, Thane. Nice little foil. Phyrexian Vindicator, Mythic. Love it, love it. And then Slobat, Iron Goblin. Nice. And decent cards from here. Yeah, so, so far, we're getting some pretty good cards from the set booster. And we're only like halfway through. Old Rebel, Ziri Stalker, okay, of Spears. So Fim, Mayhem Dominus. Oh. Little mythic there, right there. Look at her. Look at it. Look at whatever it is. Okay. Um, and then, yeah. Just cards to play. Okay. We're hitting about the halfway point. Once again, Dr. Pepper. Not sponsoring me, but you know, it'd be cool if you did. 
I do not own anything with any Dr. Pepper product besides buying Dr. Pepper at your local Walmart and having a good time drinking some Dr. Pepper. A little Phyrexian Goblin, Bilious Skullweller, okay, nice little foil. Ooh, another Planeswalker, the Eternal Wanderer. And that's about it for that one. It's pretty cool cards. Another foil land forest. Cool. It'd be cool to pull like an Elish Norn from this. That'd be great. So we got Rebel, Anoint with Affliction. Miriam Safe House, not bad, not bad. Elesh or Shieldred would be great cards to get. <clears throat> but you know, the odds are probably not the best. <clears throat> Those are just cards I really like. Let's go. A rebel. Stinging Hive Master. Another Planeswalker. Not bad. Do, 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 do. Done. Fist of Sons. Okay. You may pay one of each land rather than pay the mana cost for spells that you cast. Oh. That's cool. Iker Plate Golem. Another legendary, or sorry, a rare land. <clears throat> <clears throat> Just by looks alone, we got a swamp. Argothian Elder, untap two target lands. Okay, where are you going? You're going right there. Venzer, Corpse Puppet. Cool, encroaching micro synth. Okay, ooh, Urabask. Heretic Prayer Raider. Now that's a cool art. Okay. Trying to anchor. Shieldred's Edict. I'll probably use that, so I'm gonna take that out. And another really cool land and art. I really wish the art was more valuable. I wish they were more limited on art in each pack to make it more valuable because I would, yeah. I mean, Wizards of the Coast, if you want money, like you should make the art more rare because people like me would just be 100% down to just Go and collect art. Rebel. Ooh, shock splitter. Okay. Another Kaito. Dancing shadow. What is another planeswalker we got? Uh, a Vika. Okay. Decent, 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 decent. Ooh, another pacifism type card. <clears throat> nice little forest, nice little art style. It kind of reminds me of Dune with this guy at least. 
It looks like, I don't know what the race was from Dune. They kind of look like it. It kind of feels like that same world. I thought Rexy might. Thumbbird. Foil. Kimba. Okay. Ooh, decent. Cards for the rest. Nice little swamp. And the art. Phyrexian Battleflies. That's a cool art. Feed the Infection. Not bad. Black Sun Twilight. Canker Bloom. Colin, what's he in? We got several Canker Blooms. If you're watching this video, man, it's all you. Hunter, I have no idea what you would want from these. Sorry to the community of people that might be emailing me on my uh, business email. Some of these cards will be first picks for them if they want. Only some of them, though. Poison Counter, Prophetic Prison, Thrun Breaker of Silence. Near that emergence. Cool little plane. Come on. Give me Shieldred or Elish. Shieldred or Elish. Rebel, the Hunter Maze. Skelv, nice. Vinsor, and then the rest. Another stamp. Yeah, so with um with these packs, let's just with these packs, the overall pool versus uh the just pool of just cards in general. I'll show you the the other cards into this little square I have in just a moment. Um but I mean overall pretty Pretty great little pool of cards overall. I um, I'm satisfied with my purchase. It's a um, it's a lot of cards. A lot of good cards compared to what I thought I would be getting. For the price, at least the Phyrexy one is more worth it. Compared to Lord of the Rings, um, the Wild Eldrian, Ixalan, and other ones will probably be worth it as well uh, for the price because they'll be cheaper. But Lord of the Rings is just overpriced because of the fan base. Nice little Zephy, Blade Master, Duris, all will be one. Nice, Mythic. Yeah, so with Lord of the Rings, the fan base pretty much uh, made it to where the cards are just absolutely overpriced compared to other cards. All right, we got two more packs. This pack and the next one. <clears throat> Phyrexian Golem, Prologue of Phyrexis. For Kate Jor Kaden Kadeen, first gold warden, okay. I probably would have had a better chance getting like Elesh or others in the collector booster, maybe. I don't know. 
the odds are kind of just all over the place because like I looked up the odds and this seemed like a better choice to buy. Okay, we got Rebel, Washable, Blister Zora. Hmm, that's okay. Evolved, Spinoderm, and then Dummy Bird. And another cool art. Alrighty. So. We're gonna have a butt ton of cards to play with from here. And it's it's pretty big amount of cards. <laughs> Some decent token pool draw. And then arts and some cool lands from here overall pretty good purchase I think it's worth it the uh, chances of all these cards it's pretty it's pretty good chance of getting stuff that you probably would want to play with um, for standard play and for other play, eventually historic, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if that's, yeah. So standard from what I've learned is like the past three years. Currently Phyrexia is only like a year old. So it's still within the standard play. Once again, Dr. Pepper, love it. Um, if you all are ever in the area for Dr. Pepper of sponsoring me, uh, hit me up. And um, overall, Phyrexia, pretty cool. I This is a pretty cool experience for my first set booster. I hope to get some more and show it off on YouTube as well. Uh, and everyone just like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.